what's up guys welcome back we are doing a huge declutter today i cleared my entire day for this because we're doing the closet linen closet cup cabinet sink cabinet garage and the outside aka the backyard the deck everything i am so scared to do the garage you guys because it is actually a disaster so i'm excited make sure you subscribe if you haven't already let's jump right in no wasting time today we are on the move let's start with the closet in case anyone is new here this is our lovely master bedroom and then we have this closet here this left side is my husband aj's side and this is my side as you can see we have let things loose our t-shirts are piling up this is just unacceptable we have this laying around i really kind of let it go for the last quarter i like to do a huge house declutter every single quarter and it is that time you guys let's freaking do this okay Forgive me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what I typically do is I move from this side to that side and I go through every single item. I'm really worried about my t-shirts because I don't know what it is with my t-shirts, you guys. I just have like a special connection to my t-shirts. Guys, I've been listening to Joji. I'm in my feelings. Let's get it. Of. Getting rid of this cool half sip from Banana Republic. I really love it. It's just too small. I don't know why I got an extra small. This little tank that I never wear because it's so awkwardly long. You know, before crop tops were in style, everyone had like long shirts and tank tops. Yeah, that was me. I'm getting rid of this t-shirt just because I sweat, like my armpits sweat a lot and gray is very unforgiving with that. No, thank you. This little raggedy tank top, this old H&M shirt, it had its most moment and had its time but the time is over this princess polly 70s looking thing i already have multiple pictures in this i had this almost two years ago and i just don't see myself wearing it oh uh, the end of an era you guys if you watch my old work vlogs this was my work cardigan it's just really raggedy i don't wear it anymore and then this little scoop neck long sleeve from amazon it's a great idea i just don't wear it like there's nothing wrong with the shirt i just never wear it so for that reason it's out now let's tackle the monster of t-shirts you guys so what happened was i'll explain aj went through his closet and got rid of a lot of his t-shirts and what happens is he gives his his old t-shirts to me as like gym t-shirts so that explains why my pile has doubled but what's really exciting is now i have a larger selection to choose from and i can really narrow down which ones i like and don't like I'm getting rid of this minimalist t-shirt. It had its time and also it's stained, so I just never wear it anymore. All right, so this pile is all being donated and these are the only ones that I'm keeping. I have 10 t-shirts here and there are a few in the washing machine, but if they're in the washing machine, that means that I've been wearing them. You see my logic there? Originally, I was gonna wait until I finish all my laundry to start filming, but then I was like, you know what? If they're in the laundry, I'm using them. How good does that look? So here's all my t-shirts, my jeans. Yes, I do have four pairs of blue jeans, but they're all like different cuts and styles and I do wear all of them. Here are like my comfy shorts and my athletic shorts, my little undershirts and tanks, my gym shirts, gym tanks, little tank tops like what I'm wearing right now, my dress pants and my winter or jacket situations. I have two pairs of nice shorts, a couple of random business casual shirts and then i have like my dresses i only have i believe six five or six dresses over here we have the empty hangers i keep our my suitcase under here and then my duffel bag right under there a couple of random t-shirts i don't know why i have these hung up i don't really care and then here are like my colorful shirts flannels throw overs and then here is my favorite section this is like my nice color coordinated going out to dinner little tanks 
things like that. And then here I have bags. I have my travel backpack, my mini backpack and coach bag, my tote bags. And actually declutter one of these. Here I have my sweatshirts. I have four sweatshirts. The only reason I have two black ones is because they're people's merch and I like to support them. So I'll keep both of them. Here are my long pants, like sweatpants for winter. These are my biker shorts that I have a hard time getting rid of. So I'm going to try to get rid of some of these. Oh, I could definitely get rid of this raggedy pair. Definitely that. Definitely going to keep my Lulu's. So I'm getting rid of three pairs of biker shorts. I'm keeping, I have two more in the wash. So I'm going to have five right now. And then I have two pairs of leggings. One of them is like a winter pair, like a thicker wool. And then I have my Lulu aligns and that's it. All right, as far as shoes, I'm doing pretty well. I can't get rid of any of these. I genuinely use all of these shoes. And I always forget to declutter this section, but let's tackle that. So I'm gonna get rid of these glasses that I never wear. These were like from Amazon. And then these little purple ones were for a photo shoot. And then this is like AJ's section, but as far as my stuff, I can get rid of this belt. I got this for a thrift store in college. It was $3, but I just never wear it anymore. And then lastly, I'm going to get rid of this Teddy Blake bag that was gifted to me when I first started my channel. I just don't use it, and I would rather like give it to somebody else who will have a better use for it. So that is everything. Oh. So this is everything that I'm decluttering from my closet. A pretty good declutter, if I don't say so myself. Here is the finished product not too shabby and then in here is just like bras and underwears can actually get rid of these too this was for my last declutter but no i was trying to sell them on poshmark but nobody would buy them so they're being donated all right next up let's tackle the linen closet here in our hallway this is the only linen closet that we have in the whole house so we end up throwing all of our junk in here as you can see all of our towels are in the wash but like things are just random i have my oat milk next to my peanut butter and i have like all this random stuff don't even get me started on Vinny's room I am selling these chairs. No one's buying them yet because we got new dining chairs so that they, that's why these are in here. And then I have to do all of this. This is going to be like a separate home updates video. But I'm going to set you on this chair so you can see what I'm doing. guys this is everything that i'm getting rid of it's really not much this was expired and yeah not much to get rid of but i did just like reorganize everything he's going to taco bell Break, yeah so yeah that is everything this is our extra food storage because we don't actually have a full pantry this is my pharmacy section little first aid kit my hair cutting supplies because i cut aj's hair and then here i just have like lint rollers tanning oil batteries i have a couple like covid test shampoo cleaning supplies these two containers are from home goods i believe and this is also from home goods and then down here we have toilet paper i have my method all-purpose refills which i'll link this down below i got this on amazon it's cheaper to buy them in bulk and we have extra rice and then up here we just have towels oat milk a massage gun extra sheets and my heating pad and that is everything what are you doing what are you doing Vinny? can you please Eat this cockroach for me. Can you please go take care of that for me? You see it? She sees it. Okay, we have two more indoor sections before we move to our outdoor sections. Obviously, I want to do like the inside stuff before I get all sweaty being outside. And a tip that I have when you're trying to go about decluttering your apartment or your house is just pick a few areas. For example, I'm not going to declutter my whole kitchen today. I'm just going to focus on these two cabinets here. That way I don't feel overwhelmed or stressed or have to dedicate literally three days to doing the whole thing. Um, and the more you do it, like if you choose a few sections of your house every month or every quarter, but before you know it, you're gonna be like decluttering your linen closet and realizing that you only have things that you actually need or use. My cup, beverage cup counter cabinet, is that the right word? And I also wanna do this cabinet here because I don't think I've ever looked at what's in there besides Vinny's treats. As you can see, we have a lot of random stuff like plates up there, protein, random cups that we don't use. Let's go, baby. <laughs>
Okay, so basically it's just a bunch of extra cat food up there that Vinny does not eat. So I think we're gonna give this to AJ's sisters because they have cats, maybe they will eat it. And then I have this Ikea dining set that we don't really use. This is just like if we have entertaining, we need extra plates. Um, these aren't the best quality. They do chip and crack, so that's why we don't use them for like every day. But I'm actually gonna keep it in this setup because it's like nice and organized. And if I ever wanna donate these plates or move them to a different house, they're like already set up. So this is actually good. And then I'll just consolidate all this cat food. Okay guys, time to tackle the garage. I honestly don't even know where to start. So that's the door to the living room. And then we have a bi two bicycles here. We have tools everywhere all over the floor we have this whole shelving system here we have our weight stuff and then we have a bunch of paint and tools and tools and more tools and more tools and more tools i think i'm gonna work my way from here to here because i'm honestly very very overwhelmed we definitely want to remodel our garage and make it like a nice home gym we need to finish that drywall and like redo the floors and change this light here but for now let's declutter Okay guys, I did the best that I could. Let me show you what I did. So here is what everything looks like. I consolidated as much as I could. I moved everything. I swept everything. There was so much dust. I moved this compartment from this wall to this wall because this was kind of dead space that wasn't being used. And this allowed me to push the bikes more towards the wall to have more space here for working out. And then I actually didn't get rid of almost anything because I don't know like what tools AJ needs or, or whatnot. So I just kind of tried to consolidate, make space put things where I think they go and then this was difficult because again I only got rid of literally this is the stuff that I got rid of just trash like I couldn't decide what tools or what needed to be saved so I just did my best to organize everything and deal with what we were already working with but yeah I'm really happy it's 250 I'm honestly glad that that didn't take me all day because for some reason I was dreading this because I haven't done this in over a year and it just makes me so much more likely to come in here and work out when I have like a clear space I have so much more room now to work out I have this whole area with this bench and I'm just feeling good. No, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing garage, but you know what? What can you do? Can't win them all. Oh, and I also sprayed some insecticide after I swept everything because you know those cockroaches be crazy here in Florida. I just get this on Amazon. Um, it's $30, you can do everything yourself. You don't need to hire a pest control company, I swear. Like I do this once a quarter, I spray the inside and the outside and no bugs, no cockroaches. So I'll link that for you. Here's what it looks like when you walk in from the house. So as you can see, this is not even in the way because I don't know, does that make sense? Like the door, you know? You know what I'm trying to say? Like this is not being used before. I also hung up my chair there. Maybe we'll get some bike hooks to put these bikes like hanging up on the wall that'll free up more space, but yeah. All right, next and final task, we need to clear out this deck area from all the painting supplies and wood and stuff and also that little overhang my neighbors are remodeling their pool so if you hear music that's them also they put up the fence
right guys ah oh, i never sit at the dining table i think we finished everything on my list i'm so happy it's 3 39 and i just wanted to wow crazy i thought of a few tips as i was doing my declutter hello just like tips on how to keep a clean house not that i'm perfect or like anything like that i just i know you guys like hearing this stuff so the first thing that i do is i keep an ongoing list of things that i want yes mini do you want to come join me so for example right now what i want is a mirror for the garage you guys saw our workout area i want to get a permanent mirror that we keep in front of the squat rack because right now i've been moving the one in our closet every time i work out so i want to get something there i want to get a bigger entryway rug because ours is kind of small and it doesn't really do the job i want obviously a patio dining set um we want like a table and chairs out there so we can actually sit out there and enjoy um our new deck we also want to grill that's a very big purchase the dining set and the grill are going to be the biggest actually no it's the new fence so i want to get a new fence because ours is just really ugly and falling apart so basically the idea here is to make a list of things that you want so that when you're out shopping and you see things and you're tempted to impulse purchase pull up your list if it's not on your list most likely you should not be buying it or at least delay that purchase a little bit and then it also helps me because i look at my list and i'm like dang do i want this sweater or do i want to save up for my new patio set or my new fence so it's just a great way to like Keep yourself in check and make sure you're only purchasing things that you have already had on your list. And then with the holidays coming up, I just wrote down that I'm going to try not to buy any new Christmas decorations. Christmas is like the main holiday that gets me in terms of like buying things and cute decor and things like that. I'm not really a fall girly or like St. Patrick's Day. I don't do any of that, but Christmas really gets me so let's do this together let's not buy any decorations until we've already put up our christmas tree we've already put up all of the decorations that we already have and then we'll do a reassessment and see what are we missing what do we want what do we need um i already failed at this because i did buy some new ornaments already but i'm cutting myself off no more no more right Vinny? right so yeah, this was a very cool decluttering. I don't think I've ever taken you, taken you guys through the garage situation, but I feel like I got the areas that I normally don't pay attention to today. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and then get ready to go to church since we have been liking going to the Saturday night service. Stay tuned because I still need to make the capsule wardrobe video for my mom. Those of you who are watching or like those of you who found my channel from that video, I know you're waiting. I haven't forgotten it's on our schedule we're gonna we're gonna do it soon so make sure you subscribe have your bell notifications on i also post on instagram if you want to follow me over there and i will see you guys in my next video